Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today and today we're going to be covering the stock or the company Rolls-Royce and we're going to be taking a look into them and seeing if it's a good or buying opportunity at the sort of prices it's at right now. And I asked on the is Mark Suspensions a buy stock to comment down below, let me know which stock you wanted me to cover next and Rolls-Royce was the clear winner. So we'll do that one today but for the next video, same again, please comment down below, let me know which UK stock you want me to cover next. And I'll try to cover that stock, do a little bit of a dig into like the fundamentals, how that company's doing, and I'll give my opinion if it's a buy. And remember, if you, the stock you want me to do, cover has already been put down in the comment section, don't comment the stock again. Like the comment that's already been posted, so we don't end up with 10 people posting the same stock. It's, it keeps it a lot cleaner, and it's a lot easier to track which is the clear winner. But we'll get stuck into Rolls-Royce stock today. So we'll cover the fundamentals first, and then we'll actually get into like a deep dive of the actual company. But I think the most, well, the biggest reason a lot of you guys are asking me about this stock is because it's on a big massive discount. And I think a few of you guys are seeing this on discount and going, is this now a chance to go buy this stock at a really cheap price? Now, the ticket for this um, this one is RR. It's currently at £3.34. And it's been on a massive decline recently. And it used to be a £9, £10 stock. Um, and that was about 2018. 2019 even uh, but it's just been on a big decline since then uh, quite a lot of negative news hitting the company which we'll be uh, touching on in a little bit uh, but we'll get into like the fundamental side of the company first so currently there's no profit on the company which is always a bit of a negative uh, when we look at like the kind of the past history uh, the earnings has been a bit over the place it's been dipping in and out of profitability kind of a little bit worrying but look at the head um simple wall street kind of has the company at revenue to kind of come back and then it's kind of be a bit of flat line profit same again to come back and uh it's going to just carry on growing uh, a little bit going forward so um the forecast hasn't in too bad uh in my opinion if i'm honest i'm not sure i see the revenue and profit the how good it is forecast and i'll get into that in a reason uh, why I think that is in a little bit but in my opinion uh, I think the forecast here is going to be what it's been like previously I think the profit is going to be a little bit more choppier than this I think the revenue is going to come back I think it's, it's predicted a little bit too quick for me um, I think it might take a while to get to where it is right now so uh, in my opinion uh, I don't think this forecast is 100% correct I think it's near where it will be uh, but I think it's been a bit too optimistic to be honest with you and I don't know if that's just because it's a little bit slow to update these charts but that's kind of my opinion the balance sheet is a bit of an ugly picture uh, there's uh, the debt to equity is absolutely horrible so that's basically that there's you know less assets to liabilities uh, which is always a red, red flag for investors not a massive thing for me yeah i do consider it but yeah uh, it's not great i think the big thing i look at is like what kind of cash it's holding what kind of debt it does have uh, the cash isn't too bad on 1.5 billion but it'll be burning through that at, at the moment and it probably will carry on burning it burning through it as the covid19 goes on because that'll be affecting the company the debt is 3.4 billion so the cash to debt isn't too bad but i reckon to be honest with you like they probably have already burnt through about 1 billion of that cash uh, or maybe a little bit less so um i'm sure that cash pile is going down right about now so uh the, the balance sheet isn't the best balance sheet either now it's been a company always re renowned for its dividend but it has had to cut its dividend because of uh, things that have happened in the company and obviously the covid19 um so like i say we'll touch on it a little bit later so it has lost a dividend which was one of the benefits of, of this company uh, I, I look at the insiders and especially when a stock's like this and it's dropped so much a great thing I like seeing a company like this with a big massive drop is people buying the companies uh, and you know recently when you look into companies you'll see a lot of uh, insiders have been buying the companies uh, during the month, months of like March and April. Uh, we're looking to this company and there's no insiders, well there is a couple of insiders buying but they're only buying about 10k amount of shares which is kind of worrying. Uh, when this like kind of drop happens in the company I'd be expecting you know three or four people in the company to be buying and I wouldn't be expecting them to be buying like 10k's uh, amount of shares I'd be looking them to go like 60k above um, so yeah insiders is a bit ugly as well because when I see a discount like this I like to see the insiders coming in because they the back of the company up they know it's going to do well they know it's cheap prices but yeah not a great picture on the insiders as well so what's going on with this company? Why is it down like how it is? Why is the stock drop? Why is the earnings dropping? Uh, why is it such an ugly picture right now for this company? Well, when we look at Rolls Royce, first of all, it's got a Trent 1000 engine. Basically, that's had a lot of problems. It's had a lot of faults. 
Um, so at the moment, Rolls Royce is putting a lot of money into funding that and getting that sorted. Uh, that's been a bit of a problem. There's been an issue of bribery in the company as well, uh, which he got fined for, uh, which has obviously hit the balance sheet, um, which isn't great. Um, so yeah, when when I look at that sort of thing, I'm like, management, not great management. Um, obviously, like you have there's like two two stages of bad bad management in my opinion. There's bad management where it's like um they've kind of let the company run away a little bit a bit like what like square had you know it's a great company but in 2019 they kind of took the foot off the pedal a little bit got hurt and then went right we need to invest back into this company to get it back to where it was and it turns it all around again when we look at like that's like a badly kind of like managed company but a badly run company is where they're actually making choices where they're like actually breaking the law so that's me that's like a, a major red flag in the management side like there's management getting lazy and there's management actually like trying to get around like rules you know obviously if there's like loopholes you know you can use them to your advantage amazon's you know a company that does it really well but uh, to actually like go past the point of like using loopholes to actually go into breaking rules uh, a bit slightly worrying for me one of the big things as well is the Airbus, um, the A380, I believe it is. Um, basically, Airbus has stopped manufacturing that plane anymore, uh, which was a, a major, you know, parts of what Rolls Royce did uh, supplied. Um, so that's not great. Um, you've also had Brexit, and that's kind of affected the company and. Uh, orders people holding off to see if there's any kind of tariffs put on this company and then just to top it all off as well we've got the coronavirus so uh the coronavirus obviously has affected the company especially on like the air travel side because obviously rolls royce is a manufacturer of engines um and kind of like monitors and mate maintains them engines as well uh, that's one of the big things it has that goes for it is that it can uh, manufacture in the engines and then they look after them as well as service them but there's not flights uh, so the <laughs> engines don't you know planes aren't being used engines don't need to get serviced uh, the orders are getting cancelled because airplane companies don't want to order planes at the moment Another thing as well is, you know, the government, when you look at the governments now, are they going to kind of be putting a lot of money into this aero defence play or a government actually going to be looking now and thinking, you know what, we don't really need that many new jets. So we're going to actually start cancelling a lot of orders now uh, because they need to get back on money. You know, how, how many people have just like paid out for and furlough? They're going to have to start, you know, bringing the money back, saving somehow. Is it going to be the defence budget they'll pull from? potentially um which is another income stream of rolls royce which is kind of worrying now this company obviously has multiple problems which is kind of worrying like normally if it's like a one problem with a company uh you know you look at that problem you go can it resolve that problem maybe even two problems but you know right now we're talking about four problems with this company uh which is definitely a lot of problems that it's got going on uh, it does have diverse revenue which is a great thing you know it's not relying on one thing uh, the biggest thing is civ uh, civil aerospace which is 51 percent it has power systems which is probably like my most interesting or my favorite kind of warning in here uh that kind of play uh that's 22 percent of the revenue it's got its defense which is 22 percent as well and they're like the three uh biggest incomes that the company has it is looking at trying to fix the trent 1000 engine and it says it's going to be pretty close there that's one of its priority and also when it fixes that hopefully it can get back to being you know cash flow positive which is a you know a big thing for the company but when i look into this company overall and i look at the you know the revenue it does have coming in i think when you look at like the aerospace i think like plane orders are going to totally you know die down uh, the power systems i think might be okay uh, i think you look at defense i think there's potential that the government starts cutting a lot of the defense budget and they start cancelling a few of their orders which is kind of worrying as well so i think this company is having you know a lot even though it has diverse revenue it is at a risk of a lot of these income streams getting cancelled which is kind of worrying so overall what's my kind of opinion of rolls royce um in my kind of opinion when i look at this company there's a lot of problems going on you know it's not a single problem there's a lot of multiple problems i think when you think about bribery as well that's been involved in the company um, and I can see why people are interested, you know, you look at this stock, you think it's, you know, it's really discounted and maybe that's worth a punt and you know what, it is sold off quite a lot, it might be worth a punt but uh, in my kind of opinion there's a lot of companies that are kind of like in this very similar area um, and a lot of them are being sold off for very similar reasons but I think they have a lot less problems than what Rolls Royce have, uh, especially when you look at something like the balance sheet and the future growth, like for me like my company was boeing and i find boeing such more interesting and you know what i look into rolls royce and i'll be honest i'm looking i'm thinking 
it's a bit of a boring company. I, I'm not like taken away by it. It doesn't interest me. Uh, I don't really like it. And for me, I think there's a lot better companies out there that you know are totally sold off. And this company does have a lot of problems going on. Uh, you know, granted that it is on a discount, and you know it might start resolving a few of these problems. But right now, I'm seeing a lot of major red flags in this company, which you know just puts me off from investing. And I'll be honest, like <laughs> I. I really don't like this company. Like, I, I, it's probably like one of the worst companies I've looked into for a while. Like, from my point of view, um, I don't think the company is in a good place. Uh, it could be worse, but it's not in a good place. And I can see why some of you guys are looking at it as a discount because of how much it sold off. But uh, I just find the company quite boring as well. Like, I want to be excited by the company. And I'll be honest, I'll probably invest in Aston Martin over Rolls Royce. And that kind of says a lot about what I think about this company. So, for me, um, yeah, I won't want to invest in this company right now. I think it's going to be affected a lot by, you know, the aerospace and the coronavirus, uh, potential government pulling the funding and, you know, having to cover a few of this, you know, cash they've been injecting recently. Uh, so for me, yeah, I would not rate Rolls-Royce a buy right now. I could see a few guys saying, you know, look, it looks, it's cheap. And you know what? It might end up spiking and going up because it sold off so much. But for me, um, I want to be in a company that I, you know, I'm very happy to be in. I enjoy being in. I see it, you know, some, a company that I can just leave and I go, they're in a good place. They're going to do well in, you know, two to five years. I'll leave it there. This one could get a little bit rough. You know, we looked at what jobs they ended up having to cut the other day. Um, how long is that going to carry on for? How long is, you know, the, this uncertainty going to go around this company? So for me, not a buy on this one, guys. And that's my opinion on Rolls Royce. And as always, guys, comment down below. Let me know what kind of stock you want me to look, look into next. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next video.